Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Corsetro. So today we're going to take a look at a very specific property of the CSS grid and that is grid template areas. And really it's awesome in how it allows you to ultimately control uh, your layout using a CSS grid. All right, so this is kind of the example I'm gonna show you in a second of how to do, uh, it has a sidebar header and some other stuff. It looks like a lot of nested areas, but we can really take care of it all with one CSS grid. And it really relies on using that, um, the grid template areas property. And it's really cool and easy the way it works. We'll also make it responsive. All right, so today's question is, what is your biggest challenge if you're a designer or a coder? All right, so just let me know, try to think hard, what is the single most difficult thing that you face in your task or, or your journey into becoming a designer and or a coder? All right, so let me know in the comments and I will let you know my answers, the, always the pinned answer. Make sure to check out the description here on YouTube for the Discord server and all that good stuff and make sure to subscribe. All right, let's get started. All right, so to get started, I have a blank folder that I just created called GTA for grid template area, and then um, a blank index.html and a blank main.css. So um, to get our initial HTML up there, put exclamation point in Visual Studio Code. By the way, I'm using it's a free code editor from Microsoft. You can download that if you wish, it's very popular. And then also we'll link up our main CSS here, right there. All right, and let's go ahead and get started. So um, referring back to this Adobe Experience Design document, um, the we have to think about um, you know the, the type of HTML elements that we need. So for over here, we have a sidebar. We can use the HTML element aside for that. And then we have up here a header. Then we have three sections um, right there, and then a main content area, and then a footer. So that's what we're going to do. And so we stop, we, we, we stack them um, in order of going from um, left to right, top to bottom. So the very first one that we have here is in a side element. Oops, nothing will go inside of it though. Dang it. There we go. And then the next element is a header element. After that, the elements that we have are those three sections. So. We can just use three section content elements. So we'll just put shift, alt, and down to replicate that. Then we have a main content area. And then we finally have a footer. And of course, to save time, you know, we're not putting any content inside of it. It's irrelevant. All right, so that's it for our HTML. We'll go back to the main section. And uh, to get everything to fit inside uh, the viewport, just for this uh, demo, we're gonna put body and HTML. Uh, the height we're going to set at 100 viewports, VH, viewport heights. And then I'm going to control B to get rid of that sidebar. And then um, we're going to put in, uh, wait one second, use our body and we're going to put in a margin zero to get rid of any uh, default margin pattern, margin values. Uh, geez, I can't talk. And then it's early. We're going to put in um, a display grid. So the body element is going to be the grid container for these elements right here. All right, so then we're gonna put in, um, to use in conjunction with a grid template areas property, we're gonna define the columns and rows. All right, so grid template columns. All right, so how many columns do we have here? Well, you could think of it like, okay, one column here and one column here, and you could do that, but you would need mo more than one grid container for this stuff right here. So we don't wanna do that. What we'll do instead is we could think of it uh, like this, get rid of this stuff. And really what you see here is one column, two columns, three columns, and four columns. All right, so we're going to put in the uh, four columns right here. And we have to think of how, um, how much space they should take up width wise. So the first column is our sidebar. I'm just gonna put auto and that means take up over any leftover space after I specify um, the other columns. So we'll say 27% for the second, third, and fourth column right there. All right, now what about grid template rows? All right, so how many rows you know, do we have? So uh, looking at it like this, we'll see um, that if you just ignore this over here, it makes it easier to see your rows. You have one here, two here, three here and four here. This 
will become its uh, own row essentially with the help of grid template areas. So um, the first one, the first row is the header. So we'll just say 8%, it's just a little bar, 30% for the sections, auto for main, and then 10% for that footer. Now grid template areas. All right, so using those two properties above, uh, we have to create, we have to name, basically we're giving them names through grid, grid template areas. Uh, and, and defining how they, you know, which, how they span across each other. Um, we have to think of, you know, we have to put in four values for columns and then also four different rows um, right here. So you'll see how this works. Um, right here, we'll start from, start from top to left. This right here is a, uh, a sidebar and this right here is the header. So if we're thinking about the first row, what is up here? It's a, if we're thinking of four columns, uh, we have a sidebar, we have a header, a header, a header that spans across these three columns. All right, so sidebar, header, header, and header. All right, next for the second column, or second row, we, what do we have? All right, so we have, I'm just doing this just to show you uh, and make it easier to see. We have a sidebar, section one, section two, section three. So these are all gonna be uniquely named. All right, so section, um, we'll say section one, sec one, sec two, and sec three. Uh, next is sidebar, again. And we have a main, main, and main, and then also a footer, footer, footer. All right, so we put main. And by the way, the extra spaces I'm adding, it's just, uh, you don't have to do that, it's just to make it easier to see. All right, and that's almost it. That's most of the work though. So now we start uh, using the, to placing a grid area property on each of these elements right here. And we, we, we tie up the name to the name right here. So we'll say aside, grid area. The aside element is our, um, our sidebar. Now, so that we can see it, we can start giving a background color to each one of these based on that document that I, I created. So 007FF. And um, to see this, right click, open with live server. There you go, here's our sidebar. It's kind of a thick sidebar, I must admit. Um, and then we'll have our header. The grid area name is header. And again, you can name these grid area things anything. It's just more relevant to, to name it header. And so it's okay if these things, these match, though they don't have to. Um, and then we have a background color for that right here. So now if we go back, we'll see it at the top. See, it spans all the way across the four different grid template areas. All right, and then next we have our um, sections. So I'm just gonna paste this stuff in. I'm just gonna use the nth of type pseudo class um, to, to, specify, you know, to target each one of these. We could have given them IDs, doesn't matter. Um, so grid area, sect one, sect two, sect three. I have unique um, just shades of blue just so we can see them. Um, and then you'll see if we save this, there we go. And then also finally our main and footer, same exact stuff. So we have our main, grid area of main, uh, background color, grid area footer, and now it completely works. So now how would we make this uh, responsive for instance? because that looks bad. What if we wanted to st stack on top of each other? All right, well, to do that, let's get a media query here going here. All right, and so what we'll do is we'll copy this stuff right here and we're gonna place that all right here. Um, just because we're gonna, we didn't start with mobile first. Um, so I'm leaving, I'm gonna copy that here and then we're gonna define all the mobile first stuff right here. Um, 
so really, let's say for instance, we just wanted uh, this grid, uh, we wanna get rid of the header and the sidebar. Let's say for instance on mobile, we'll just show that with an icon or something with JavaScript or whatever. Um, and so we're just gonna forget about those two things. And let's just say we wanted to stack on top of each other um, in one column, uh, this section one, two, three, the main and footer. Here's how we, we would do that by adjusting our properties. Um, so up here, this would change into uh, a single column of 100%. So it go across 100% of the phone or whatever it is. And then our rows, we're gonna have five of them because of section one, two, three, main and footer. And so we'll just put repeat auto so they'll all be uh, of equal uh, height there and then grid template uh, areas we just simply have one column so we just start naming it uh, which with whatever comes first sec 2 sec 3 and then main and footer all right so let's save that and we bring it in there we go so of course you could uh, add a lot of more different media queries and really structure things, uh, maybe condense areas and uh, do whatever you need to do, and whatever makes sense. All right, everyone, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, again, today's question is, is what is your biggest challenge as a designer or a coder? Let me know in the comments, make sure to subscribe here, check out the Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon.